All right, that was easily lined up. Lift it up. No, oh, okay, no, 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 too much. No! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. In this episode here, we'll be looking at a brand new lift kit for Cosmo. That is right, made by the good folks over at Hexnub, the same people that we also seen making custom treads for Cosmo, as well as among other parts for different robots. This here is their latest addition. It is a lift kit. Literally, it is what exactly it sounds like. It is a lifting kit that you attach to your robot that allows you to go ahead and pick up a variety of different things, one including a little piece that you can go ahead and put Legos on, which is kind of cool. Now, it does come in a variety of different colors based on which Cosmo you have. Uh, this one here is a white and red one for our classic Cosmo, and we have a white and blue one for our limited edition Cosmo, as well as a black and blue for our collector's edition. Again, you can mix and match, do whatever you want. Uh, we'll kind of give an idea how it looks all together. But for, for our starters, we're going to go ahead and look at the a traditional classic Cosmo version. So on the box, it'll say lifting kit for Anki Cosmo. And on the back here, it says, step up your creative play. A reversible pallet enables Cosmo to carry objects up to 40 grams. That is more than 12 Lego men. I think we might put that to the challenge. Now, it's designed for discovery mode, so you can go ahead and attach it to the robot and move it about and use the discover mode. So literally, it's a unclip, clip, and play kind of feature. So you can see on the back there, it kind of shows you all about it, so that's kind of cool. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. Right there is everything that it comes with, so we get ourselves this little panel uh, says H on the bottom, but it's actually a grip pad, uh, meaning you go and put it on the ground and it won't slide about. Uh, and then on the top here, you can actually see it's got a Lego tread, meaning you go ahead and attach Lego blocks to it, making it a very fun piece to use and creative way to add Legos to Cosmo. Now, in terms of the lift kit, there we are. It's a, literally a plastic piece. Uh, it has some rubber grips on the front, and the way it works is kind of interesting. Now, we previously mentioned that Cosmo has a little nudge right over here on the front. Uh, this will kind of come off just like that. Uh, now, we always said that Anki should definitely act up on this and create a custom part where you can make a forklift. As we know, we made a bulldozer uh, or something of that nature. But yeah, the Hexnub people did it. So here is the attachment and literally just goes out and clips on just like that. There we go. And voila, <laughs> our Cosmo has a forklift. Now, essentially the way it works is the robot will go ahead and slide right underneath it, lift it up just like that and put it back down. All right, so kind of give you an idea exactly how do all three different characters look. Uh, so this here's our collector's Cosmo. You can actually see the gunmetal matches it literally to the T, exactly the same color and definitely kind of gives it a very nice striking appearance. And then of course you have our classic Cosmo sporting the white and red. And finally our limited edition sporting the white and blue. Again, a very exact on the dot kind of matching color. Not to say overall, these guys look really, really cool. Uh, but again, you know, looking cool is just part of it. So let's go ahead and put it to the test and try out classic Cosmo in a simple lift challenge. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Uh, so we have our classic Cosmo with its oh, classic lift, I guess you can say. And then we have three different obstacle courses or three different weight challenges, I would say. Now we have uh, our lightest one, which would be Emmett and Lucy right over here. Uh, so we'll put them right there. And then we have a more heavier one, which will be the snow move character right here in the back. And lastly, our heaviest being Batman on top of this almost like bat cave kind of structure. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna pick up a piece and kind of move it to the other side. All right, so we're in the explorer mode. So let's go ahead and drive up to this one right here. All right. So right away, I'm gonna say it looks like it might be kind of difficult to line it up properly, but it just requires some patience. There we go, sweet. We're gonna lift it up, ha <laughs> ha. All right, back it up, back it up, back it up. So that was actually very easily. You can go ahead and spin it around just like that. Okay, and I'll go ahead and put it down right over here. Okay, that's one. Now I was going to get that duo character next. So I'll go ahead and go on this side. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> All right, so like I said, it's a little bit difficult. So just be aware. Come on. 
There we go. And let's lift. There you go. Good job, Cosmo. You can spin it around. Show it off a little bit. All right, and then we'll go ahead and go over here and just kind of drop it just like that. And we'll back it up, back it up. All right, now for our moment of justice. And we're gonna see if we can go ahead and pick up this Batman figure. Uh, being our heaviest, it should be kind of interesting seeing. All right, that was easily lined up. Lift it up. No, okay, no, 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 too much. No! <laughs> ah, man, let's try that again. I don't think I was able to get him in all the way. So we'll back up just right there. And we'll lower this all the way down. And we'll bring it in one more time. All right, I believe in you, Cosmo. Let's do this. There you go, he did it! He did it! He struggled a little bit, but he did it. <laughs> so, kind of shows you what it can do in terms of that whole aspect goes. So we'll go and drop it right over here. There you go, and Batman fell. Hmm. And yeah, there you have it. So, kind of interesting, kind of makes it a little bit more fun, gives you a little bit different spin on Cosmo. Now, again, you know, it does create a different aspect in it. Obviously, you can't really use anything other than the Explore mode with it, just because it's not a fully authentic Anki product. However, for what it is, it actually does kind of spice up Cosmo just a little bit. Now, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, be sure to hit the dislike button twice, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.